Bye, friends. I was going to his pockets for his ammo. <laughs> How can you possibly be low on ammo, Dad? Dave? Uh, I almost called you Dad. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Ranger's Journal, Reclamation Day Plus 3, Appalachia. In Vault 76, we were told that we would be rebuilding America. At this point, I can't figure out if we were lied to or if Vault Tech were just fools, but nothing out here is like we expected. Although I was glad to see that Joel had survived, I really wasn't sure what to do next. As far as I could tell, he was the only survivor from outside the Vault. However, just a few days after leaving the Vault, I came across my first sign of life, as a small flotilla of vertebrates descended to save me from a group of super mutants. not sure who was at the helm or what purpose they might serve, at that point I decided that if someone else really might be out there, maybe I should follow the Overseer's trail, and perhaps try and make contact with any of the other survivors of the Responders. If there's any group out here that I could perhaps put my trust in, the Responders sounds like just the ticket. It's like Mr. Rogers used to say, look for the helpers, you will always find people who are helping. Well. I think it's time I really made an effort to try and find those people. So, to Flatwoods we go. I wonder if these things have some medical loot on board. one of our protectrons has been compromised. Maybe by you. Or maybe you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It doesn't matter. This world, it isn't going to get any better if we don't try to help each other. Try to keep people safe. The responders need you. You might not think you're the type, but trust me, none of us sign up. We're called. Head to the church in Flatwoods, We'll be waiting for you. all day with me but listen to the radio and drink. I should have got out sooner when Billy and his buddies started torturing little cats and dogs. His friends were no good but that didn't stop me anyway. I can't believe my wake up call was watching people's heads get myself I should feel sorry for the little town across the river but if I'm being honest 
And that's what this tape is for. I don't really care. I call myself an addict, but, um, it ain't the Kens that finally got me. It was always Billy. As I arrived in Flatwoods proper, I had a brief glimmer of hope because the organization here was, I guess at one time, pretty impressive. This looks like a real survivor's camp, a real place dedicated to actually helping people. Unfortunately, as far as I could tell, it was only me and a few other survivors from Vault 76 that were left. The entire place is just the scene of a massacre. I did find the instructions left behind pretty useful, especially as, admittedly, my rewar ranger training might have been a little bit incomplete. There were instructions on how to boil water and food and how to take care of yourself in the wasteland, and so I decided that I would follow the trail of these responders and try to learn as much of their knowledge that was left behind as I could. Looks like I can still join the volunteer program and perhaps learn a few things here. It really does look like they had something good going on here. Overseer's Log, Town of Flatwood. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. There's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice, angry, tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but... Someone's got to know where the missile silos are, and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer. Signing off. So, boiled water is safe? It's mostly safe, but still a bit radioactive. What you really want is purified water. Oh, purified water. Okay, how do I get that? You can build machines that will do it for you, and that's the most reliable way. Building them requires some space and time and plenty of materials. But on my way up here from Watoga, I found purified water occasionally in supply caches and medical kits. <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled. Got it. All the purified water I can carry. Give you anything you want! Money? Yes! You want chance? Well, 
Well, I'm definitely going to try and find that guy's poor stash, and then we'll get to work on figuring out what went wrong with the town's water purifiers before the raiders attacked. Perhaps I'll learn a thing or two along the way. Reminder to myself, the responders are good people. They're trying their damn best, for sure. Things aren't good, and stuff is getting worse. Anyway, this is a reminder to myself. A reminder that this gun, it's my insurance. Things get real bad if the food runs out or the water runs dry. I get to decide how I leave this goddamn world. I'm not gonna let myself suffer. I'm not gonna die hungry and alone. I can't. Just up here on the creek bed, we should have the body of one of the leading scientists here in Flatwoods who was working on a water purification project. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. It seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods, it was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science. Okay, pretty straightforward. Let's check the town's water supply and then get our own water supply all set for some traveling. It looks like our training on how to avoid bad water is complete. Let's go ahead and pack things up and head north and meet up with Joel. And we're gonna head to the Morgantown Airport where the responders, at least at one time, had a massive refugee camp and base. Hopefully we'll find some more info and clues up there as to what happened. Now that I'm back at camp, while I wait for Joel to show back up, I'm gonna do some redecorating and some rebuilding here. I've designed a simple shelter inspired by your basic hiking shelter. It's nothing luxurious, but it'll keep the weather off of us, and it should have plenty of room for some crafting tables, and of course, just a bit of vault tech propaganda. A reminder that we are here to rebuild America. Yeah, that looks pretty cozy right there.
Hey, man. Er, I mean, ma'am. Bye, friends. Ah, uh, good folks. Now, where is Joel? Oh, here he is. Real quick though, Joel, a settlement needs your help. Let me go ahead and just mark that on your map for you. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's roll. This cabin feels legit right here. Wait, guitar sword? <laughs> what is that? I just contracted parasites, but so I, I, I like because <laughs> I ate like forty things of uh, diseased food. <laughs> uh, oh. My favorite is I always keep the, the the cure on me, so I just eat diseased food and then instantly <laughs> cure it like a second later. <laughs> you just contracted parasites. Ugh. You see the safe over here? Uh, no. Ooh, hello. Yeah, glowing fungus soup. That is not appetizing of a description. <laughs> you know what's great? Soups that don't glow. <laughs> Whoa, what happened down here? Dude, it's a rafting accident. Did you see this? There was like a creek here, and I guess they all died when the bombs fell during a rafting accident. Where did you go? I was exploring up ahead because I knew you were going to be sitting here for forever. You left me behind. Of course. <laughs> this is how the game's going to be, Dave. I'm a junior ranger, and a junior ranger always scouts up ahead. <laughs> A junior ranger always abandons primary ranger. <laughs> yeah, because primary ranger is too busy <laughs> fixing guns to save anyone, to do anything worthwhile. <laughs> the, the cop uniform with the beer hat is a terrifying combination. <laughs> Officer safety is here. Bottoms <laughs> up. <laughs> That's right. It's a big watchtower, whatever it is. Find responder supply caches. We do that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to explore the train station. Alright, I'm gonna go look for the supplies. You okay? Yep, I'm good. I just hear a lot of gunshots. Oh, this laser pistol is massive. Is what? What did I just say? You said this laser pistol is basil, and I. <laughs> <laughs> what? I... <laughs> Joel, did you just have a stroke? Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so in my head, I was saying this laser pistol is badass, but I think I was trying to say. It's badass and it's a pistol at the same time, so it just was basil. It's a, it's a basil. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. There's a cache up here in the um, in the railroad tower as well, and I'm over encumbered. <laughs> Ranger guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you don't. Oh, you're gonna die a horrible death. Leave that body there. <laughs> uh, I mean, I wasn't planning on moving it. <laughs> I'm not done with it yet. <laughs> not quite sure just yet, like, if certain things you take are gone, because obviously certain items disappear. Dude, your footsteps are, like, 
so loud up there. Alright, so now that I've looted, I have to craft. <laughs> uh, speaking of which... <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you were going to find that one. You left the door open, Joel. That's where you went wrong. <laughs> Literally just over encumbered again. Ooh! Hey, are, are you transferring all your junk into your stash thing? I haven't seen a stash recently. Do you see one? Please, please, Lord, be there be one here, please. <laughs> yes, there's one here, please. Is there? Yeah. All right, let me go back one more time for this tower back here. And scrap, and check, and one. And check, and. <laughs> and scrap, and loot, and over and cover. <laughs> I'm just realizing I'm going to be playing this game very lonely. Did you know, Joel, that in an emergency, a wet bandana can work as a radiation filter? In the game? Really? No, in real life. <laughs> in real life? Yeah, like it's not great. But it's better than nothing. Is that why you have it, Dave? <laughs> That's why I'm wearing a bandana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be a very lonely game. <laughs> I'm over-encumbered. Okay, I figured out where all the weight was. I'm carrying a bajillion, like, Nuka colas and food. <laughs> Ooh, it took his head off. That was satisfying. On my screen, you just kind of slowly face planted. Joel, I have so much room for looting now. Whoa. What on earth happened here? The bombs fell. <laughs> A uh, audio tape over here, Dave. Head never. This is Maria Chavez speaking, and today is December 25th, 2092. Once in the world before the war, this would have been a joyous time to celebrate with loved ones. Now it's a time to reflect and to mourn. It was on this day, ten years ago, that we lost so much in the tragic event we call the Christmas Flood. I'm making this recording in the hopes of ensuring the Flood and its victims are never forgotten. I suppose the story really begins in November of 2077, the month after the war. Survivors from the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort sent a group to Charleston to ask for help and supplies. The city leaders turned them away. There was so much chaos and so much need back then, I suppose it was an impossible request to grant. The failure to secure help led to a change in leadership for the survivors at the ski resort. A cold and brutal man named David Thorpe took charge. He shaped those people into something terrible. They took what they wanted by force and killed anyone that stood in their way. Years later, Thorpe's girlfriend Rosalind led a raid on Charleston. They were spotted early and a fight broke out. A few of them escaped, but Rosalind was injured and taken prisoner along with some of the other raiders. By then, the responders were more or less running things in the city, and we were doing pretty well for ourselves. We felt confident we could confront the raiders on their home turf, so we sent a group up into the mountains to see if we could make a deal. We hoped we could get them to leave us alone if we agreed to release some of their prisoners. We were wrong. Thorpe had somehow got his hands on a mini nuke. He used it to blow the Summersville Dam on Christmas morning. We lost almost everything. Our homes, our supplies, and most of our family and friends. The days and weeks that followed were the hardest of my life. But somehow, we held together. We kept the idea of the responders alive, even though there were only a handful of us left. That's the story of the Christmas flood. Tell your children. Tell everyone you meet. Let's keep the memory alive for as long as we can. I guess that explains what happened to the responders. Yeah. 
Whoa, dude, look at this guy. What the F? Whoa. Look at his, look at his face. Dude, he died screaming. <laughs> oh. Huh, what's that? Did you uh, find a crafting table? <laughs> uh, this is the story of a collection of crafting tables across Appalachia. <laughs> <laughs> In one ranger's quest to touch them all. <laughs> yeah, because this area didn't get hit, hit as hard, right? The capital got hit, I think. So a lot of first responders, you know, police, firefighters, would have still been, you know, irradiated but alive and trying to help. Dave, what are you wearing? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing? My ranger outfit. No, you're not wearing your ranger outfit. Not? Dave. Oh, there's a guy behind you. Ooh. What the, what the crap? Let's get inside and get away from these two. Weird me out. Oh, Dave, I just realized we can get a Harper's Ferry. Yeah, we can. Hey, everyone. This is Derek. I get my final report on the events at Harper's Ferry. Hopefully this reaches you all safely. Whatever happened here, it, it was big. The whole area is... it's... it's devastating. Any of our people survived. I, I can't find a trace of them. I talked to some of the locals. They say creatures came from the sky and laid waste to the town. Some of the ones who got hurt in the attack were transformed or something. They apparently turned into monsters and attacked anyone they could reach. Riley says he and his people are gonna seal themselves up in their bunkers and Try to figure out a way to fight these creatures. In other words, we won't be getting any more help from these Free States guys. Maria, I was hoping you could get in touch with Ella. See if maybe she can lean on Raleigh a little. Get him to see that this isn't the way. Ask me, I, I think it's damn selfish of them to turn their backs on the rest of us. On people who need their help to survive. Uh, there's nothing else I can do here. Scratch Harper's Ferry off the map. I'll be heading back soon. But I, I want to check in on some of the farms along the way. Should be about a week. <laughs> Piece of paper that says, do not touch. Please do not touch. Still working on system recovery. I don't want to have to start over from scratch. <laughs> uh, this is really interesting. So this whole place used to be like a trading post and everything. I just realized... Ooh, it was the overseer's cash. Plans found, Joel. Safety posters. <laughs> Dave, I'm not scared. You, you were like looking at it. <laughs> Dave, you were just like this. You're like, you're like I found it. <laughs> Safety posters. <laughs> we like, have to build. <laughs> the overseer's vlog. Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I walked into a nightmare. Scorched the room every day. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over. Go help this guy. You got. You can do the ones do the that quest. Used to be human. Eventually, they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. Vesuvius in reverse. I wondered what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky. Screeching, breathing, infecting everything. 
I don't know how to fight this. We need to consider all our options. Even the nukes. Ooh. What would you find? Just a scorch behind the counter that surprised me. Before it can huh. leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. It looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the overseer. Signing off. Interesting. So the disease is coming from the Scorch Beast. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you just learned that? Yeah. Uh, could you drop me some water? I don't have any drinks. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I Joel. You, I know you have some. <laughs> Are you asking Ranger Dave for help? I'm asking my liege lord. <laughs> Fire cap soup. There you go. That'll warm you up good. And some boiled water. I've just been drinking so much like beer and stuff. <laughs> All right, we're recording. Good, because now we can get on record that I think this idea is goddamn loony. I'm not thrilled about sending our people into a place that's actively toxic either. But there are whole towns down there we still haven't reached out to. Welch, Beckley, Bramwell. Bramwell? Come on now. You really think the Hornrides or the Garahan did fly off to some private island the moment the air raid sirens turned on? Most likely they did. But right now we don't know and don't have a safe way of finding out. And that's why I wanted your help, Melody, on how we can get there. Fine. We got a couple of folks from the Charleston Fire Department. I can talk to them. See what they have to say about getting set up for those sorts of operations. Thank you. Anyone you send into all that smoke is gonna need training, though. Need to be whip smart if they're gonna survive someplace that hostile. And breathing equipment's finicky as hell. A whole lot of care and maintenance if they're gonna be out there for hours. Let alone days. You're talking about a whole new division here. I understand what I'm asking. Tell you what you ought to do. You ought to give them a name. A name? Green Berets, Smoke Jumpers, Navy Seals. You want someone to sign up for dangerous duty, there needs to be some prestige behind it. You give them a name, a new designation, extra rations maybe, I'll guarantee you get the volunteers you're looking for. Hmm. Any suggestions? Huh. Well, Gramps was a moonshiner. Made Hooch so strong, normal folk could go with him a mile of it. <sighs> Everyone called him and his boys the fire breathers. Resilient sons of guns. What about that? I suppose we don't need to go with the first idea we come up with. But for now, I'd like you to reach out to those firemen. Convince them to get on board with the... the fire breathers. Let them know it's important. Prestigious. Oh, lordy. I think she likes it. <laughs> I'll work on getting them a place to train. Charleston Fire Department seems like the natural spot. Certainly won't have to travel far to get yourselves into trouble. Good. We should get started. If there's anyone still alive down there, I think they've suffered enough. Dave, there's some uh, kind of interesting over here. There's a note here, too. Okay, there's a guy uh, <laughs> in the stall. I think he died vomiting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that sucks. I wonder what you use the pre-war money for. Uh, paper scraps. What do you it's use the paper It's cloth for crafting. Oh, okay. Broadcast from the Brotherhood of Steel. It sounds like the responders might have 
been trying to make contact with the Brotherhood and ask if they're okay, there's an implication that the Brotherhood might have known what was coming. Oh, the control panel is covered in blood from the firefight. Oh, the screen's still covered, too. Ah, so the Fire Breathers were an organization inside of the Responders, it looks like, dedicated to protecting people from the Scorch Beasts, I believe? It's kind of like special forces for fighting the infection. It also sounds like the Brotherhood, as they gain power here in Appalachia, have begun demanding supplies from the locals, which seems familiar for some reason. Yeah, some of their medics left to join the Brotherhood, too. Bastards! <laughs> Quest started. Tentative plans. Ooh, time for a holotape about camping! Camping by Miguel Caldera. Robot programmer extraordinaire. Part 1. Finding the perfect camping location. Now that the world has changed, it's hard to stay safe. Used to be the camping was safe as houses. <laughs> well, until there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> These days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. The perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back, or uh, build things that will watch your back for you. No problem. Anyone can do it. Remember, camps are mobile. <laughs> We're all explorers now. Camping in a strange land full of adventure, wonder, and danger. So, camp often. And rest a lot. Camp Before often, war, he says. <laughs> I was going to retire and go camping. Now I can do it every day. Forever. It's a dream come true. Do what you love, right? Now come to my camp, and I can show you some knots and framing techniques. Then, I'll direct you onto some helpful supplies. Good luck, volunteer. I might finally be all set here. You are so slow. Whoa, what's, uh... What's happening out here? Uh, let's, go to, let's go to the right, let's go to the knock Let me kill this Scorch first. Oh! Oh, what? Ooh. We like hit each other at the same time. I'm gonna head on down to this uh, quarantine zone on the tarmac. I just realized that this is a shower room. And the window's just wide open. Hello, world. <laughs> There's a guy up here, the skeleton. Just the way he died, like, <laughs> looks horrible. Up here? Oh, Joel. <laughs> well, it looks horrible now. <laughs> His head was like cranked in half. <laughs> what? And there it is. <laughs> over covered. <laughs> I'm over covered. <laughs> <laughs> You have been making sure to use only strength, right, for every level you get? I've had to do a few others, finally. Oh, okay. oh damn it, it's dirty water again. <laughs> I didn't even look, I just took it. <laughs> <laughs> Inoculation project. Ooh, here we go. So they're working on a scorched inoculation. So we have scorch beasts, uh, large mutated bats that poison the ground and warp living creatures into deadly thralls. Ah, so the Brotherhood found him first. We know far too little, so they're highly aggressive and dangerously radioactive. That sounds like an FEV virus kind of creature, not a normal, not a normal apocalypse creature. <laughs> So it sounds like 
the transformation into becoming a Scorched can be pretty slow. Scorched are lethal. Uh, don't know much about them. Fight the Scorched as you would a Raider. Don't get close. Makes sense. Look, Joel, quest complete. I'm over encumbered. <laughs> you need steel to. I'm over encumbered. <laughs> I'm so close. I have to walk up to it. <laughs> you know, I keep wondering. Like, I'm like, are you, uh, like, are you always doing like immersion walking? No, you're doing over encumbered walking. It's about half and half, to be honest. I'm over encumbered. <laughs> Alright, so we have the infected area next, I think. Ooh, wait, nope. The control tower. They lost a lot of people in that Christmas flood. And then, eventually, the Scorch just wore them down until there was nobody left. Yeah. <laughs> the radar on the tower says, no air traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Joel, it's you while I'm looting. <laughs> yes, Why, God? Why? <laughs> Take me now. <laughs> Dave, your, your Ranger Dave creates my character in-game. It's 100% true. Like, you literally turned me into a psychopath. <laughs> Joel, I'm just... I'm doing what needs to be done. I'm crafting, all right? Ooh, there's 5.56 five, ammo. <sighs> and craft, and two, and one, and check, and load, and craft, and scrap, and, scrap. and I'm over encumbered. <laughs> I'm over encumbered. <laughs> I like it. I like that. That's good. <laughs> oh, that's a person. Joel! Joel! <laughs> Wait, did you see the head right here? <laughs> that was a gusher. Yeah, it was. Joel! Joel. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh! What? I'm over in cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm at 155 now. Oh, I still have so much left to go. Oh, there's dude, there's skulls. Well, I'm taking those. I'm don't taking take them. the skulls. Yeah. You left all the good scrap behind, and you're taking the skulls. <laughs> I did what take the legs. Scrap... You, be... <laughs> you took the. Oh, of course. <laughs> I need a crafting bench. <sighs> I can't walk. Here, here, you know what, Dave? Follow me. Save me. Save me. Save me. Oh, Joel, I just realized the quarantine with the animal control pills, these were the people that were becoming the Scorched. Oh. Oh, yeah. The dumping pit is right behind it. I'm just going to move my stuff there and you can drop it in your inventory thing. I'm going to go to my camp. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> hey, this is why you never even got to experience what you fought for. The building takes, consumes you. Uh. Oh, God. I love this pistol. More up here. His body hadn't even hit the ground and I was going through his pockets for his ammo. <laughs> How can you possibly be low on ammo, Dad, Dave? I have 200 oh, so rounds, so but I just had to use dad. ammo to kill him. Why am I... Uh, I almost called you Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dave. <laughs> it's Ranger Dad to you. 
syllabus. Okay. If your camp doesn't have all the necessities. Oh, we have to go back and get a thing from the terminal now. Oh, gotcha. Here, if you want to hang out here, I'll be right back. Dude, that fire is still burning in this airport building. Dang. Deloing schematics. <laughs> Bug. Dance bot doesn't stop dancing. Veterinary bot attacks animals. <laughs> the worst bug I've ever had to test in my life. Rest in peace, Mr. Fluffy, you sweet pup. <laughs> Living a dream, right, Miguel? Miguel died like I would with his arm over the crate. Joel, I think your camp is conflicting with mine, but I might be able to build my stuff at your camp. Let's see what you got. Ranger inspection! Start. <laughs> we'll be mad at it already. Just getting prepared. There we go. Oh, did you have to make one? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Joel Packrat. Oh, nice. It's happening. Nice. Do I need to put a generator here? Yeah, we need both of these, I think. Actually, we need more than that. Uh, oh, yeah, I can, I can build a bigger one. That still only provides five. So, I'll bring one of these small ones down. What the heck was the generator? Oh, there we go. Yeah! Bottoms up! I'm surviving now, boys! Oh, 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 gotcha! Oh, I'm seeing, like, that it has, like, an inventory. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's it really does the work cool. for you. <laughs> no! 
no. There's only a few poses, Joel. You're going to be seeing this a lot. <laughs>